let's see. I don't know if you can hear that child screaming in the distance. Being eaten, I think, by some kind of monster. Hey everybody, it's me again, Wayne. This is gonna be an unusual uh, log for the week's workouts because it's an unusual week's workouts. Because I'm traveling, which is always the bane of a fitness program or a guitar practicing program or any kind of program you want to name. Traveling is just a pain in the ass. Be that as it may, sometimes it's necessary. For example, I am now at the mighty Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Well, this clearly isn't the clinic itself. I'm in the uh, least expensive yet non flea bag motel that I can find because that's our income level. Yay, good times. Anywho, when I first walked into the, the fitness center, I saw two treadmills and the recumbent bike, some kind of a stair machine thing over there. And there's a pool in the background, but I don't do that. So, I mean, I can't, I just don't. Fortunately, there's also a dumbbell rack. Could be worse. When I first walked in, I didn't even see the dumbbells. And I thought, really? Treadmills? Awesome. But yay for dumbbells because you can actually do a lot with them. If you got a set of dumbbells, even, even if they only go up to 50 pounds, you can do quite a bit. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick dumbbell uh, workout and I'm going to try to hit the whole body. Yes, yeah, in one workout, but it'll still be fast. I'm gonna do uh, two warm-up sets for each exercise, and then three working sets. Uh, going heavy on the working sets uh, with you know four to six reps max is, is what I'm shooting for. So anyway, I don't warm up extensively, but I do, because I find that warming up extensively just wears me out, and then I don't have enough energy for the working sets. Um, now, I could extend my rest periods, you know, to two minutes or three minutes or something like that. But I don't like really long rest periods either because long rest periods seem to sap any momentum that I have in the workout and they also interfere with the endorphins that I get from working out. And I like me some endorphins. So I like pretty short rest periods, 30 seconds to a minute, uh, really no more than that. I guess 90 seconds if I'm really, really, you know, strung out. But um, so I work up, uh, I warm up with, with a real light weight uh, for just five reps, six reps, and then a weight that is maybe 60% of what I'm gonna use for the working sets. Again, just four, five, six reps, and then on to the working sets. So it's not a lot of warm up, but you know, it's enough that I don't go in cold and try to, you know, try to hulk it and, uh, and injure myself, which I've done injure myself, not hulked out. Although that'd be cool, wouldn't it? For example, it's called the shoulder day. We're gonna do shoulders and biceps and triceps to start things out. So we're just gonna start out with uh, tens, right? Tens to, you know, to warm up, uh, you know, both those, those medial delts. I know how exciting is this, watching me do warm up sets for uh, lateral raises, yeah? And then the anterior delts, and while I'm at it, I guess I might as well warm up or start the warm up for biceps as well. And we'll go with triceps also, right? Now, for warming up on triceps, the triceps extensions like this uh, are, are fine in my book, at least they're largely what I do. But for the working sets, I'm gonna do uh, dumbbell skull crushers. There's fortunately a bench here, so yay for small favors, right? Um, and I do the dumbbell skull crushers just because the angle of the, uh, the angle of resistance, the angle of the movement, the position of the operating lever, as Doug Brignoli would say, is, um, is, is, is just right. So, and, and also, doing a lot of exercises like this, right, where you've got your arms up here, things get kind of impingy, or they can, and I, I would like to avoid impinginess as much as possible. So, warm-up sets, you know, like that, that's fine, but the working sets, yeah, I don't think so. Now, you can also do legs with dumbbells, right? You can do those those Bulgarian split squats, which are just murder, but I guess maybe that's why they're good. 
And I don't know if there's much difference between using a hammer grip and using, you know, a, um, what is this called? A, a supinated grip, I think. Or maybe this is pronated. Hell, I don't know, it's an underhand grip. But uh, maybe there's a difference, maybe there's not. I guess I need to look it up. Well, I have looked it up. And uh, let's just say the authorities differ significantly. And I've seen guys, you know, working the, the front delts, you know, and they're, they're doing like that. But that's not, I don't think that's actually necessary. You know, nothing against those guys. That's, you know, if you'd like to do it that way, more power to you. I don't think, however, that you're getting much extra bang for your buck by going much past here, because here is where the load is the greatest when you go past that. If you hold this thing out straight, and then raise your arm, and Lewis, it starts to get easier. So, about to here, I think, is probably about as good as you need to get as far as how far you're, um, you're lifting for the uh, interior delts. This is my third, fourth, third and final, I hope, workout here at the hotel in Rochester, Minnesota where my wife and I, my lovely and brilliant wife, and I have no idea why she's with me, have come, and we're going home tomorrow. So this weekend is back to the home gym. And um, my wife, whom I think I mentioned was, was much, much smarter than I am, said something like, um, I see you're, you're making videos about working out in, in the hotel, a fitness room. Doesn't that relate to a larger topic of making do with whatever you have? I said, God damn, honey, it does. And it does. So, not to get all philosophical here, that's, that's my wife's job. She's an actual philosopher. Here's a doctor of philosophy. In philosophy, you don't get more PhD than that. Um, but yeah, it seems that right now in life, in a bunch of ways, whether it's culturally or individually, a lot of us are having to just make do with what we have and make the best of it. So I guess that's what we'll do. You go traveling, you got dumbbells and a couple of treadmills in your hotel gym, we we'll make do with them. Maybe there aren't dumbbells, maybe there's just treadmills. Well, that's why God invented push-ups, right? So yeah, we do what we can. That's all I've got on that. Y'all, thanks for putting up with this week's video. I'll talk to you soon.